trending. When we talk about the word trending, people talk about is it fashion trending or is it the most trending video right now? Or we're going to talk about what is trending right now in financial market. And just to let you know that actually it's true. These three have something in common when they use trending. That's coming up next. Hi, once again, welcome back right here. Say as in Constantine right here for the ultimate Forex program right here. It's powered to you by Quant Solution. In this chapter right here, you will learn about the basic concept of trend. And you will learn about support and resistance. Now, let's talk about trending. Now, when you talk about these three things, actually they do have things in common. Means what is actually hot right now that is what these three have in common like in fashion right here when you talk about trending you will see that what kind of fashion right now is really trending now when you talk about popular video like right right here you see the side gang number they have about two uh, about how many billion 3.4 billion viewers already all over the world which is very trending now in financial market your job as a trader also you need to find where is going to be the next trend and before it starts to trending, you need to be probably inside the market already. So this is what your duty right here as a trader right here to understand the trend. Okay. Now, definition of the trend. Okay. The trend is simply the direction of the market, which way it's moving. So we always have this exam right here is always trade in the direction of the trend. The trend is your friend. You will always want to ride exactly in the same trend. Sometimes when you trade in a market, some people ask you a question. Hey, are you a trend follower traders? So that means that you always follow the trend. Okay. We're going to talk about the chart and the artist. Now, if you combine together, it's actually known as chartist. Now, I want to share with you. Trading is actually an art. It's not exactly 100% mathematical and we want to put too much science behind it. Uh, that's why I say that uh, trading is actually can be learned, can, can be teach, you know. So everybody, actually those who are really interested uh, to learn about trading is actually, they can learn because trading is an art. You just need some creativity and some methodology, then you can trade the market already. So that's why when you hear somebody when they say that, hey, I'm a chartist, means this person that they're going to use the chart and use some methodology and put some arts on it. So that's why I call it chartist. Okay. So always remember that trading is an art. Okay. Tips right here. Always remember price move in zigzag, zigzag. Okay. Now, if you touch your heartbeat right here, if you go to hospital or you have, you know, your heartbeat, you know, oscillators at your home, you can see the heartbeat is always tit, tit, like that. Okay. It's always up and down. So when it's always up and down, what does it mean? You're alive. Okay. Same go with the market. It's always up and down. It's always a zigzag. Okay. So when zigzag means the price is alive. Okay. So price always move in zigzag. Okay. There's always a zig. There's always a zag. Now, if you discover right here when the price move in zigzag like this, zigzag, zigzag. So you always discover that there's always a rebound point. There are always a reversal point. Okay, so when it rebound from the low, we call this one is a low pivot point. Okay, when they go to the upper side, we call this one is a high pivot point. Pivot means turning point. It's always reverse. After a certain area it hit, it reverse. So after the reverse complete, you can put that place is a high pivot point. So we have low pivot point, high pivot point, low, high, low, high. Okay, some of them they use this area like trough okay the trough and the peak the peak the trough the trough the peak the trough peak and trough okay so this is what we talk about the price move is always in a zigzag now by just understand the high and the low or the peak and the trough we can combine this data right here to anticipate the trend yes by just taking this data at the high and the low when you combine it together you can predict where the trend is gonna go okay so again right here i would like to emphasize what you learned on the previous video yes it's true trend has three direction number one 
downtrend. Now again right here, you always remember that the price always move in zigzag. There's always a high, there's always a low. Now look, there's a low, there's a high. Now how to identify that the trend, okay, all you need to have is two points. I repeat again, how many points? Two points to start to do the trend. Now let's begin with the high here. Assume this one is a H1, assume this one is a H2. And then when it bounces to the low, it creates L1 and L2. Now, if you have the high is lower than the previous high and the low is lower than the previous low, if you have a two consecutive point is lower than the previous one, you basically already have a downtrend. This is why they call it lower highs. Okay, lower highs and lower lows. Okay, so the high is lower than the previous high and the low, the L2 right here is lower than the L1. So these two points right here, you can start already to have a downtrend. But in order for the trend to be valid, you need another one more point. Later on in this program right here, you always learn about the number of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So to make the trend valid, you need another one more point right here. So when you have three points right here, it shows that the trend is solid. You need two points to create the trend, in, but in order to confirm the trend, you need another one more point or more points. The third, the fourth, the fifth will make the trend is getting stronger. So the third is actually to approve that where the trend gonna go so you need uh, the third point right here to approve and here we are we have a downtrend okay so if the more uh, high tested in the same area that's mean the downtrend is stronger it's valid okay so first right here you learn that we have a downtrend where the high is getting lower than the previous high okay this high means the high pivot point lower than previous okay and then this high right here is lower than the previous and must be followed by the lower must be previous than the previous low okay so there you go you have a downtrend very interesting right by just understanding the high and the low you can predict already where the trend is going to start to develop now the next part right here i'm going to share with you that we have what is this okay you're smart you know this this is called the sideway where the high pivot point and the low pivot point is basically almost at the same level again right here all you need to have is actually two points at least okay now in this area right here there's one point is slightly up up like that but these two points right here okay it's good enough right here to do a credit sideway but again right here we need the third one to make the trend valid one two three one two three once you have a three points regardless from the high point or the low point you know at the same level okay that's make the trend already valid so how to to identify whether it is sideways at least minimum that you have three points two points start to create the trend but the third point to make the trend valid so always the third and onwards okay now here we are we have a sideways and of course, last but not least right here, we have, what is this? Okay, we have uptrend, okay? Where the high is getting higher than the previous high, okay? So remember that you need the first two points right here. Assume that this one is H1, okay, this one is H2. H2 is higher than H1. Meanwhile, the low, okay, L1. L2 where L2 is higher than L1 so when you have a two points higher than the previous point so this is what we call higher highs and higher lows higher means the, the activity is getting higher so when we have these two points right here that means that we can start already to predict the first early development that this is probably is going to go uptrend but in order for the trend to be valid what you need to have how many points the third point yes when you have the third point right here you already have the valid trend so usually when we go for uptrend we always like to use the low okay the L the low 
so we have a three point low here at the same level right here it mean there will be supported okay so this is where the buyer keep on supporting the price you know to go up high it cannot go down but they keep on support the price to go up high so the more points that you have in the almost in the same area the stronger the trend is gonna go now what make forex market is so fascinating is you can make money right here when the trend is up and you also can make money when it's downtrend but right here when it's sideways can you make money in the sideway the answer is yes oh my god yes you can make money in downside and uptrend but we're going to use different strategy to trade this market now in this program right here you will always listen this forex language right here which is the ranging market okay ranging market means it's not uptrending it's not downtrending it's basically sideways or basically consolidate market so this is what we call the ranging market okay it's trendless it doesn't go up it doesn't go down but meanwhile if it is trending up or it's trending down this is what we call trending market okay so regardless it's trending up or trending down it still fall under the same category it's the trending market meanwhile right here if it is sideways this is what we call ranging market so at least you learn a little bit ideas right here so that you know when you go out there when somebody talk about hey are you trading in a trending market so at least you know it regardless it's up or down so this is where the trend follower like to trade the market when it start to trending okay trending okay all right so at least you know the market uh, the trend has three direction now how to draw the trend lines so